Hello Aries, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about your person, the person you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What are they thinking, feeling when it comes to you? Um, what are their intentions towards you? What do they wish they could tell you at this time? All right, so let's get into this reading for you guys. Aries, Aries placements. All right, angels, guys. What messages do you have for Aries? Regarding love, what messages or do you have for Aries? What's coming their way in love? What's coming their way in love? Wow, we got the two of cups that appeared. I'm not going to take it because I haven't um, cut the deck, but interesting. Two of cups. So I feel like this reading will be for those of you who already have some sort of a special connection in mind. So let's see. Queen of Swords, reverse your energies. Queen of Pentacles, reverse. Four of Pentacles, reverse. What's going on? Seven of Swords, reverse. Five of Swords. <sighs> Page of Cups, well, naturally. Ace of Cups, reverse. Five of Pentacles. Okay, this is, um, wow, Aries. Uh, this energy is so, like, It's so clear, but it's so bad. Like I could tell that this is gonna be for Aries that have been through possibly a breakup. I have the lovers reverse at the bottom of the deck here with possibly someone that you were really in love with or really felt like you had a connection with. This person really, something bad happened here. This was like conflict. Um, Seven of Swords reverse with the Five of Swords. That's like you figuring out someone was deceptive or taking advantage of you someone could have been unfaithful and this person i feel this is their energy page of cups with the ace of cups reverse this is clearly an apology for breaking your heart this is someone who possibly still loves you after breaking your heart or they were heartbroken as well maybe you are the one that cut ties with them because i have the five of pentacles here so i feel like one of you has left the other and now there's this feeling of loss, abandonment with the Five of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles reverse, Four of Pentacles reverse. I feel like you're not able to let this go, even though you're not getting anything from it. Or perhaps you are spent. Like, I feel this energy of you giving a lot to this connection. And it's almost like you invested so much, you put so much into it, that maybe it's hard to let go of it in some way. Energetically or financially, or emotionally, whatever the case may be. Whatever happened in the past, it was straight up lies. Like someone lied to you or was not nice, was, was, was not on your side. Give me some more insight into what happened here before we start clarifying what happened in this connection set. Give me some insight, please, for Aries. This is a general reading area, so it will not resonate for everyone watching. Um, so don't try to make this fit. If it's not for you, it's not for you and that's okay. What is going on in this connection? Deception, look at that. Spirit, tell me more. What's going on for Aries? Someone lied. Someone was wearing a mask. This situation involves marriage. You could have been married to this person. Someone lied about being married. Someone stepped out of a marriage or a long-term commitment. Bottom of the deck, free yourself. Jesus. This is going to be, I feel, a pretty clear-cut reading. And, you know, I hate to say it because it's not a good, this isn't good energy. Um, this could have been someone that probably told you they were ready to commit, ready to marry you. And maybe they were not... That wasn't their true intention, basically. Let's clarify some of these cards. Let's get some more insight into what happened here. Oh, okay, never mind. Let's try that again. Spirit. Give me some clarity into these energies for Aries, please. Insight, please, for Aries. 
What messages do you have for Aries? Let's start with this Queen of Swords reverse. Oh, okay. That just, oh my god. I'm just going to pick it, pick them up exactly how they fell on the ground. Look at that. Knight of Wands reverse with the Three of Swords. Like, the message is so clear. Like, someone here was not able to commit, was in and out, caused heartbreak, was probably a player, had player tendencies. Um, who was this person? I don't like them. Tell me more about this Queen of Swords reverse, please. Page of Pentacles reverse, exactly. This is somebody wishy-washy. They were probably playing the field or going back and forth, weren't able to, maybe this was um, a connection that, um, I just I just am picturing someone who is in and out. Um, maybe you separated to get back together, separated to get back together. Um, I'm also picking up somebody who is, um, oh, okay, um, I'm picking up someone who's really good with excuses. Almost like they're very quick on their feet, like they can think of excuses very quickly. Very good smooth talker is what I'm picturing here. Hmm. Okay, before I get into your energies... I'm going to look at what this Seven of Swords and Five of Swords is. What happened here with the Seven of Swords? Oh my god, my cards. What happened with the Seven of Swords reverse? What happened with the Seven of Swords? Justice. Yeah, okay. Um, okay, I just heard karma. Um, I heard someone also is like, um, this was a final, whatever what came to light whoever was caught doing something they shouldn't have been doing it was like this person my, my deck is crazy it was like this person delivered justice like it was kind of like that's it could be dealing with a libra here this could be a legal situation for some of you but i'm not picking that up as much tell me about the seven of swords reverse i'm picturing someone that means business like they've had enough well, tell me more about the seven of swords reverse King of Swords Reverse, yes. This is somebody that, um, wow, this is very difficult. Ace of Cups Reverse. Whatever someone found out, it was heartbreaking, disappointing, devastating, possibly. And it's almost like you could finally, it was like you couldn't ignore it any longer. Even if this person continued to deceive you or continued to try to make excuses or continued to, um, lie i feel like this energy is like you are no match for me you can lie all you want but by yourself that kind of energy why is the five of swords here tell me more about this five of swords knight of cups tell me more about the five of swords please i feel like somebody wants to apologize or is trying to fix things Interesting. Yeah, it's like someone here is very protective over their heart, possibly. Okay, I'm picturing two different scenarios. The first one I'm picturing is someone wanting to apologize because they're holding on to you very tightly with the Four of Pentacles. And so it's almost like um, they don't want to screw this up even more or they're trying to think of a way to have you open up to them it's one of those two can i get one more for this knight of cups with the four of pentacles please why are the knight of cups and four pentacles here yeah because you are heartbroken you probably blocked them or told them to kick rocks this queen of cups reverse they feel um like probably like they were abandoned or are struggling. Um, this person could be missing you, um, feeling lost without you. Um, didn't you have a reading recently? Something similar? I don't know why I'm getting this. Yeah, there was like a reading recently for 
It was the bonus readings for January. Um, someone was feeling bad. They wanted to talk to you. This could be a continuation of that reading. Let's figure out how what your energies are. I'm using my uh, brand new Stellar Energy Oracle deck. This is available now if you're curious. Spirit, tell me about the energies that Aries and this person are bringing to this connection. Aries, I have you on this side and I have your person on the other, but it can be flipped, so flip it if it resonates better for you. Tell me about the energies that Aries is bringing to this connection. What's the energy that Aries is bringing to this connection? Okay, I have strong bonds and victory lap. Family, union, partnership, strong bonds and ties can influence someone's decisions or actions. It's one of my favorite cards that I made in this deck. There could be children involved here. Um, and then victory lap. You're being recognized and admired for your success. Interesting. Um, this could be a connection that maybe all eyes are on your on your family. Or perhaps you want this to succeed. You want this to be a successful connection. Um, perhaps because there's a family element here. Tell me about the person that Aries is dealing with. Tell me about the person that Aries is dealing with. Your seduction, lust, temptation, desire. You're being tempted to give in to your desires. I really feel like this person was unfaithful. Or perhaps addictions got in the way here. Or I don't know. I feel like they, they got themselves into trouble here. Let's see what they're secretly thinking or feeling. I'm using my Secret Moon Oracle deck. What is this person secretly thinking or feeling about Aries? What are they secretly thinking or feeling about Aries spirit? I wasn't ready. What else? I can't let you go. See what I'm getting? It's almost okay. So you weren't ready, but you can't let go of Aries. That's not doesn't sound very fair. Can I get one more, please? What is this person thinking or feeling when it comes to Aries or this connection? I'm struggling. Bottom of the deck, please forgive me. Yes. Okay. So that's very this is a very clear cut reading aries i'm gonna i almost feel like i can leave it right here but but i'm gonna um continue because i want to see what is going on here between you specifically with this person tell me about the queen of pentacles reverse this is on your energies or your side here why is the queen of pentacles reverse Seven of Cups. Why is the Queen of Pentacles reversed? Ten of Swords. Interesting. Um, I feel like some of you could be worried about finances. Now I'm noticing because I have the Four of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles reversed. They're both reversed. And I have the Ten of Swords reversed. So it's almost like you're thinking about how you're going to move on from this. Can you move past this? Will you be able to, um, will you have options? I feel like you're evaluating your options or thinking about, maybe you're confused. Maybe you're not sure what to do. Tell me about this seven of cups. I feel like something has already, yeah, wheel of fortune reversed. So things are not working. Uh, perhaps it's not that things aren't working out because the wheel of fortune reverse is still a good card to get. Um, it just means that things are not as easy, not as smooth. Um, you're still able to take advantage of an opportunity. A door opens for you um, with the Wheel of Fortune. Uh, but when it's reversed, it's like it's slower. It's slower to develop. I feel like you're thinking about time. Like if something's the right time, um, if, you, if you should wait longer, something like that. 
Tell me if this is resonating down in the comments. Again, it won't resonate for everyone. This is a very specific reading. Why is the Four of Pentacles reversed? Two of Cups reverse. Yes, this is um this is you're thinking about what has happened, what the ending that has taken place, or about an ending that needs to possibly take place here. You're thinking about the deception, yeah. You're thinking about what happened to cause this disconnect. Page of Swords reverse, two of cups reverse. But why are you this could have been recent that this happened. Tell me more about this Four of Pentacles. Reverse. Temperance reverse. Another card about like things not coming together. Timing, Sagittarius energy. Things being out of balance. The Four of Pentacles reverse. This is a card about, and we have it twice here. Um, when it's upright, it's about kind of holding tightly to something, uh, being frugal, being very careful, paranoid almost, being very guarded to protective. Uh, when it's reversed, it can mean a few things. It can mean that you are ready to let go of what you've been holding on very tightly. Maybe you're opening yourself up a little bit more, letting your guard down. Um, but it could also mean that you're holding tightly like in a stubborn way. I think a lot of this, you know, I feel some areas you're just ready to let this go. You're ready to drop this. It's just what options do you have when, when you do that? Others of you, I feel like part of you is like at the back of your mind is saying if there's something worth saving. So let's see, why is the Page of Cups here? Why is the Page of Cups here? The Hermit, Virgo energy. I feel like this person, you've, you've probably cut contact with them or you threw them out or... Um, this is someone that's like, the Hermit has withdrawn. They're alone and they're thinking. Thinking, looking for answers, planning their next steps. I feel like this person's like in a room thinking about what to say to you. Tell me more about this Page of Cups. Yeah, this is about communication, Eight of Wands. They want to talk to you, which again, this is a continuation, I feel, for that bonus reading for the second half of January. Yeah, so they want things to continue. Um, I feel like there's a lot of passion here, chemistry, a lot of physical chemistry with the King of Wands. Um, why is the Ace of Cups reverse? Why is the Ace of Cups reverse? The High Priestess. Yeah, Secrets, the Unknown. Um, and then we have the Hierophant reverse, Taurus Energy. This could be... Um, these also fell. This could be um, a broken commitment that was very difficult. I feel like someone's secrets, maybe they had a secret marriage or so, the secrets got in the way of a connection. I feel like this is someone that is heartbroken over what they've done and want they want to reconcile and talk. But I have the Five of Pentacles in the near future here. Tell me more about the Five of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles reverse. I feel like past energy and near future energy is very similar. So I don't really see change. Let's see. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles. Nine of Wands reverse. This is... um. This is a very heavy energy. I feel like this person, the, the energy that I'm picking up is someone that has literally dragged you along, led you along. 
Maybe they've made promises that they haven't been able to keep, but those promises are what keep you kind of in this state of not fully giving up on this connection, on this person. Tell me about this Five of Pentacles. Yeah, there you are, the Emperor Reverse, Aries Energy. I feel like you're upset. Some of you are definitely upset because, oh, I just heard that some of you, okay, some of you feel like a fool. That's a, that's a message for someone that's watching this. That was such a clear message, it like hit me. Like some of you feel like a fool, like you could have taken charge of the situation in the past, but you didn't. You let this get away from you. Maybe you haven't been um, acting like you normally would. Others of you, um, you're just pissed, <laughs> like very angry. Um, 